Hi there, in this um, video, hi there, thanks for joining us for a quick wins on using your iPad for Office C6 5 apps. Um, in this video, I just want to have a quick look at um, some of the Office C6 5 apps you might use through Glow um, and how they can be accessed through your iPad browser. So for this, I'm using um, the Chrome browser on my iPad. Um, could use Edge, Firefox. Um, the iPad comes with Safari built in, um, but personally, um, I like the functionality of Chrome on my iPad. So I'm already on my Glow homepage. I've logged in, um, as you or your learners would do, and I'm just going to access um, Office C65 um, through the tab here, um, and you'll see the whole Office C65 suite here. So I can use the app selector. Um, up in the top corner here and I can choose my, my app from here or um, I can use the apps um, down at the side here so if I open up Word and create a new blank document now I've already had a look through this um, with my desktop browser so using my, la um, my laptop using Windows and um, also going between Chrome and Edge browsers and it looks just the exact same so um, Home will always bring me back to this menu here and you can see I can change my fonts, text size, my text appearance, my alignment and bullets um, and I've got the editor um, tool built in which will make recommendations and um, support me um, with checking my writing. Um, what is missing um, is, I would hope it would be under this ellipsis, um, and that is the dictate button so on your um, Windows web browser version you will find a wee microphone which will let you dictate to the page so you can talk to your laptop um, or your desktop and it will um, type on the screen for you however that's a built in feature of your iPad um, so here is as I've tapped on the page you can see my keyboard has popped up at the bottom and I can type traditionally or I can press the microphone button you'll see um, that it's now listening to me speaking full stop new line and I can even give it instructions um, about finishing the sentence and starting a new paragraph to tap the keyboard button to return to um, text input or full stop um, recording my voice there. What's worth um, having a look at, just again, personal preference, um, I like the Swift key keyboard, there are others available, and I like the fact that I can use that swipey text input. Again, just as before, except I can So that's something I have a preference for. I like the, the Swift key um, typing. You can store that as a separate app. Again, holding in the emoji um, and it'll take me to the next keyboard and go back to my normal iPad input. But I can type with my voice using the online version of Word. So again, at the top of the page, um, I've got the option to insert. Um, I can insert a table, uh, just as I can online with my laptop. I can insert pictures. And what's really effective about this being on the iPad is I can insert from the device and my device has got a built-in camera. So really easy to bring in um, images. Everything else is in that menu there. There are even um, the full layout option here. Um, so I'm not missing anything from the layout that I am online. Um, again, with references, um, I can do everything I can do on the online version there. Um, under review, Again, what I'm really surprised to see is that I've got editor and I've also got the translate built in. So I can translate my document with Microsoft um, Translator and I can translate either a selection, so I can pick apart the text and have that translated, or I can translate the entire document. Um, it's great to see that that, is, that functionality is also um, included on the iPad online version. You sometimes lose functionality between um, the iPad and the Windows versions so that's good to see that's in there and again if I go into view you'll see I've got the immersive reader built in and it will talk any words on the screen to me Hello. Hello. so 
anything that's typed on the screen, it will read that to me. I can change the size, the appearance of the text, the colour of the background. I can highlight different parts of speech. So if it's a noun, it will highlight that a separate colour from any verbs. And I can change the line focus, so it will only read one, um, three or um, five lines at a time. I can turn that off and it will again hopefully show me a picture using picture dictionary. I can hear that word spoken to me and you can see the wee picture explaining what the word means. I can also translate to another language. So let's try Arabic and it will hopefully um, translate the word. I can see it here is written in Arabic. Um, it's got it in English, it's got it in Arabic and again a picture illustrating what it means and I should be able to hear Arabic spoken. So really useful to see that immersive reader is built in um, as well and I've also got my sharing options just as I would have online on Windows so that's great to see all of those functions are there just like they are on my online version.